This is Anarchast. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Anarchast. We're at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas. I'm here with Pasha Roberts of the Silver, Silver Circle movie. And uh, we're on the final days, they're closing down right now, but uh, uh, great to have you on. It's great to be here. It's, it's, it was a great show and uh, I had a lot of fun with you. Yeah. And the uh, first question I always ask, how did you become an anarchist? Well, great. I mean, you know, actually my first exposure to it was back in the early 80s in college in the whole punk, do-it-yourself, um, you know, Mohawk kind of, kind of situation. And so we were just kind of teenage college punks and the anarchy sort of just came like right along with it. And, uh, you know, just somehow the A symbol kind of goes right with the Mohawk very well. So. And it's a slightly different brand, but it was uh, that's that's really where the whole thing, as well as the whole do-it-yourself kind of um, ethos that kind of goes through our um, our film. So uh, that, that's really my first exposure to it. And you know, these days um, I kind of come into the whole thing through the economics door and just trying to understand you know economics, money, the nature of human work, the nature of profit, that kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, and for me, it just depends on which. I don't take my politics as seriously as some of the speakers and people here. I mean, I'm not loose about it, but I don't. I'm not going to argue some fine point with somebody forever either. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, making, I'm making movies. You know, yeah, so. that, no, that's good. And we need people like you to make movies like yeah. this because uh, it helps to expand the public discourse on right, these right. sort of things. No one really knows what the Federal Reserve even is. Right. And uh, so movies like yours will hopefully awaken some people to what's really going on. Yeah, yeah, we're hard at work. I mean, it's uh, it's really fun as having the Federal Reserve for a foe in the movie because it's um, it's kind of like the world's. It's just like the ultimate comic book bad guy, you know. It's this hundred-year-old secret society. They make, they control the world's currency, just like some evil James Bond, and it's real, you know. So people can actually, um, you know, um, you know, James Bond bad guys aren't real. But if you actually look up ours, um, it's, it really exists. Oh, it totally exists, but not many people know about it, of course, yeah. because they don't really want us to know about it. Right. Because if, if most people understood how the uh, monetary system worked, they'd uh, revolt tomorrow. Yeah, right away. So, so, uh, so you're a big proponent of silver. Big um, proponent of silver. I mean, um, I really enjoyed learning more and more about how silver is made, what's inside of it, how the whole process works. Um, as as I mentioned, the, the rebels basically make their own silver money um, in the movie. Is and, that uh, a silver circle? Yeah, movie? silver circle, and that's an ounce of uh, silver. That's great. Um, and uh, they have their own mints and refineries inside of the movie, and uh, so we've gotten into all of those. And just I've seen you know hundreds of thousands of dollar of gold and silver be poured and pressed and minted. That's great. So it's pretty exciting to uh, kind of have that in there. And do you think we'll ever overthrow the Federal Reserve in uh, the near future or in our lifetime? <laughs> in the near future, I. I like the, cur the um, alternate currency mm. idea, just where there can be something trading officially or unofficially against it. Um, the, I think the Federal Reserve will probably implode and the dollar will implode before it is a, you know, Congress enacts a law to get rid of it. I agree. Um, yeah. So I don't see an easy way out of all the debt that we do. There is no way out. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't see any good way to do that. Um, in fact, our um, scenario for the sequel is, you know, in 2028 is all, it's not, it's a little bit more Mad Max, you know, it's uh, pre-secession the United States, there's free states starting to form inside of different regions and there's kind of a breakdown. It's kind of like in the first civil war in the U.S., they, um, the, I just want to make sure nobody trips, the, uh, uh, you know, basically the states stopped sending representatives to Congress um, because they just didn't care. So. People in DC just put somebody in there for them. And uh, I think in 2019, you uh, marijuana gets legalized in the movies. Like yeah, we actually legalized pot in 2016. <laughs> oh, 16. Yeah, four which, more years. Yeah, four more years. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not my thing, but actually, really, it should be legal. All drugs should be legal, and it's just a complete waste. It's, it's a horrible uh, thing. I think the war on drugs. Well, central banking is the worst thing I right. can think of. Well, the state and then central banking, which are one and the same. But then the next thing I could think of that's the worst is just the war on drugs. It's just yeah. destroyed so many things. And, and that's what the government uses to uh, say why they have to bash in our doors because they're looking for uh, uh, dried flowers in our pockets. Or, right. Or even at airports. Oh, you might have some drugs. Or they put it in their in your pocket. But yeah. It's funny, the TSA has, I go through the airport all the time with silver and they have no idea what to do with this stuff. But oh, yeah? it's, it's, 
you know, I think it's a bomb or something like that because it's made out of metal. But it's uh, it's just it's just metal. <laughs> and uh, when's the movie coming out? We'll be um, we're finishing over the next month or two, and we'll be coming out to theaters in the September time frame. It depends a little bit on, on uh, whether we get into Toronto Film Festival or Telluride. But we're uh, hard at work just kind of getting it all done and dealing with uh, theaters and kind of getting into that environment. That's great. Yeah. It must be exciting for It'll you. It'll be exciting. How, how long have you been working on it? It's uh, three years. The oh, first wow. year is mostly story, and then the last two years it was uh, all production stuff. And uh, it's a long road. To That's but great. By industry standards, we're especially for animation, we're fast and we're cheap. So i got to keep remembering that. That's so, good. But well, I'm looking by next year, I'll have a stack of DVDs and be talking about the sequel. Oh, awesome. So you're going to do a sequel afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. And uh, what's the... the the thing in the what's the plot in the sequel? Um, what's so the, in the sequel is the Federal Reserve already gone? It's uh, I'm basically already, there's giving away too much. No, I mean <laughs> we're we're um, actively sort of working it out right now, okay. and I'm uh, working with uh, there's a, a a great libertarian sci-fi writer, Eleanor Smith, who has done a lot of stuff with this. But my thing with this is we actually went another ten years in the future, nine years in the future. Um, to actually let free states start to form inside the U.S. Because then we can actually have storytelling about how free societies interact with each other as opposed to just fighting the man. That's because awesome. Everybody fights the man kind of the same way, but yeah. free societies interacting with each other actually starts to be interesting. Because everybody's got a different style of being... Oh, totally. Like, yeah. In a free market, you'd have... Uh, if people want to have a communist area, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go, go at it. It's voluntary, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, if you just, but it, when they impose it by violence and then take your money and make you pay into the system, that's yeah. when it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, so we have different regions that, you know, I think there's a little neocon, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Texas state and, you know, but the Colorado region upwards is like, like one thing and then Arizona actually going down through Mexico is another kind of free region. So well, Mexico's already pretty free. I live down. Well, there. well, that's what I'm saying. So if we take New Mexico, Arizona, and kind of move down that way, oh, that's great. Um, you know, it, they start to merge a little bit. That's great. Well, I'm so really I'll look, look for some reference for you then, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, well, I'm really looking forward to the movie. I think you know, like, the more that people can under, you know, you go to the movies today and it's all just shoot them up, bang bang. There's yeah. no real substance to it. Yeah. And uh, people actually need some of this information and. It, you know, a lot of people don't want to read books or, you know, the, but they go to the movies. So this right. is a great way to get another angle to sort of educate people as to what's going on. Yeah, that's our evil plan, really. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we're hard at work. But, I mean, we have plenty of shoot 'em up in action. I mean, I think it's a genre film in that sense. It is a thriller romance, um, but it's um, designed to, but woven into the whole thing is, uh, you know, a, a good understanding of what money is and a way to kind of explore that with an audience. And hopefully from there they, they look at other things. So, but you don't have to have any feelings about the Federal Reserve to have a great time in the movie. So. That's great. I'm really looking forward to it. And, yeah. uh, uh, where can people get more information on the, on the movie? We're at uh, silvercirclemovie.com. So silvercirclemovie.com. And then there's a really active blog and Facebook page also. Um, the, the blog is uh, silverunderground.com. You're very familiar with it. Yeah. Um, but there's, we have active topics going on all the day, all the time. There's a, a Rebel of the Week. We have you know, uh, Movie Monday and Tinfoil Tuesday, all kinds of different, um, you know, themes kind of going throughout it during the week. That's so. great. Well, uh, good luck with the uh, release. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate and your support. And, yeah. you know, you. I, but I think it'd definitely be interesting to your folks. And uh, check this out. Definitely. Absolutely. Check it out. Silver Sucker Movie. And that's it from uh, Freedom Fest in Las Vegas. Peace, love, and anarchy.